What's going on guys, it's Hi, and this is my Henry 22 Long Rifle Lever Gun. I just finished up installing this Ranger Point Precision Handguard, and I wanted to share my experiences with you guys. This particular firearm is model H001, and it originally came with a walnut handguard to match the walnut stock. This is a good looking combo, but from the beginning I knew that I was going to throw a Ranger Point handguard on this gun and one on a Henry X when I pick one of those up. Installation of the handguard is fairly straightforward and Henry themselves have made a tutorial on the process so those who are interested can check that out. There's only two screws keeping you from getting the original four end off and three to put the Ranger Point on, so install is a breeze. At least it should be. From my experience, the barrel band that came with the Ranger Point did not fit, not even close. At first I thought it was just the two side lugs that were sticking out too much, so I filed those down and the band was finally able to make it over the mag tube dovetail. Then it was the entire round section that wraps around the barrel. I started with hand filing this section but quickly found out that a lot of material had to be removed, so out came the Dremel. After doing this, I was able to get the handguard installed, but the process was definitely a lot more tedious than Ranger Point made it out to be. I actually contacted Ranger Point at the very beginning when I first discovered the problem, but after a bunch of emailing back and forth making sure that I was installing the right handguard on the right gun, which I was, the answer I ended up getting was essentially, well, we have this gun and this handguard in-house at our place, and they fit just fine, so yours should fit too. And yeah, in my mind, I have no doubts that your handguard fits these guns, but isn't it possible that along the line somewhere, I mean, these guns have been out for a while, the Henry tweaked something a little bit so it might not fit anymore because this gun was like hot off the presses. I got it pretty much brand new right as the dealer got it in. So again, I'm just saying, maybe Henry changed something and Ranger Point doesn't know about this and they haven't updated their design and the handguards don't really fit anymore. Who knows? All I know is that like, from my experience for sure, this barrel band does not fit around this tube, this barrel at all. Like, I had to do relatively a lot of work to make this fit. So I guess this video is more of a warning for those who are interested in going with this combo, the H001 from Hendry and the Range Point Precision Handguard for 22 Rimfire. If you are buying this combo, let's say late 2022 on Ford, definitely when you get your handguard in hand, check the barrel band. If you take your sight off and you start sliding your barrel band in place and it doesn't fit, Something's wrong. I'm telling you right now. If it doesn't get past this dovetail, you got some problems. Either send it back or be prepared to do a lot of sanding, filing, whatever it may be. So in the end, I was able to install the handguard onto my Henry. And you know, is it worth it? That's really hard to say. Because if this install went perfectly smooth like it was supposed to, I would say if you're interested in this kind of look, an M-Lock Aluminum handguard on your freaking 22 long rifle yeah it's, it's pretty worth it but if you have to do all the work that i had to and you're not prepared you don't have the tools you, you don't want to pay someone because i mean this entire combo is supposed to be pretty cheap so if you have to pay something to do more work on it that's hard to say that's i'm gonna have to leave that up to you but for me this thing is on it's kind of worth it However, like I said earlier, I do plan on picking up a Henry X at some point, a variation of it. And I do plan on throwing a Ranger Point Precision handguard on that too. So hopefully the install is already kind of difficult in the first place. So hopefully I really don't run into a lot of problems with that one either. And I think that's going to be it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, share it around, comment down below if there are any thoughts or questions that you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you want to further support my work, consider hitting the join button down below and become a member of this channel or becoming a patron on Patreon. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.